Tomorrow, Worcester will open the state's first field hospital inside the DCU center. It can accommodate as many as 250 patients. As Ken McLeod shows us, it is meant to be a backup in case city hospitals get overwhelmed. Starting tomorrow, field hospital staffers coming off their 12-hour shifts here will decontaminate in this tent and then shower in the trailer next to it, having spent their first day treating COVID-19 patients. We've trained and we've trained through the procedures that we'll need here. Just in case, they've got makeshift ICU beds ready with all the life-saving tools, including ventilators, set up in a speedy week, right down to the soldered copper line that feeds crucial oxygen into each room. It was the first thing we started working uh, on, and it will be the uh, last thing that is finished before go live. Keep in mind, most patients at the field hospital will be on the mend, allowing real hospitals to deal with the sickest people. The converted DCU center will max out at 214 beds, but everyone hopes it won't come to that. None of us have been specifically trained in doing this, but the idea is to be adaptable. Recent med school grad Grant Lewandrowski is among a thousand applicants okay. who erase the fear of this venture being understaffed. Mm -hmm. We're getting a visualization of the entrance of the airway. We found him practicing his intubation skills today for what might be the real thing tomorrow. It's kind of one of those things where you have to assume any risks that are there and, you know, do your job. Lewandrowski and his comrades must wear a gown, gloves, face shield, and mask at all times. And you know how hard it is to get PPE. I'm not going to put this mask on because it's so critical that I don't want to waste one just for a demonstration. They'd rather be outfitted in these battery air-filtered pappers, but only have 20 of them and need twice that. More important, though, is their can-do attitude, with the first two dozen patients slated to show up tomorrow. If not us, uh, there's no one else to do it. It cost about $25 million to set up this field hospital, and it could be open for two months, depending on how the surge plays out. In Worcester tonight, Ken McLeod, WBZ News.